Alrighty guys, I got a quick Tackle Warehouse unboxing for you guys here. I opened up this once and uh, I shot a video but the audio was really bad and it had a really bad glare. So I had to redo it, so sorry about that. But it's a, not a huge Tackle Warehouse unboxing but a decent order with a few stuff and some stuff I haven't tried before. So, um, see first off here we can start off with the Tackle Warehouse sticker. We'll get over into this box right here. This is a Flamboya medium spinnerbait box. I think it holds like 22 or something like that. I'm going to try to throw some spinnerbaits this year. I've probably used them maybe 5 to 10 times in my lifetime. And it's probably been about 10, 11 years since I've actually really thrown one to try to catch fish. So I got one of those to hold some spinnerbaits. And I got a couple that are on back order that weren't available yet. So up next here, we got the Z-Man bag. This is to hold some of the Z-Man Elastec plastics. I think that's around like 15 bucks. Now how Elastec doesn't do well in the heat and it doesn't do good with other plastics as well. So I thought I'd get this to hold some of my soft plastics. Pretty cool. All right, moving on. We'll start with the Z-Mans right here. Here's the Elastec Krusty Z's. This is in a pumpkin color. Comes in a six pack and they're two inches long. Really good bait for when those bass are have a locked jaw and they're just having a tough time getting them to bite. Really good fishing by itself on the Ned Rig, on a small jig head, or on a smaller style jig as this as a trailer. You can even drop shot this bait if you want to also. Good for a different species of fish, largemouth, smallmouth, crappie, panfish. They will all eat this two inch little bait. All right, moving on. Here we got some more, but this is the Razor Shad Z in the deal color. Comes in a four pack, 4.5 inches. And I'm gonna be using this bad boy right here mainly for chatterbait trailers. I have used these before in the past for many years and they are pretty amazing as a chatterbait trailer. So that's the main thing I'll be using these for, but you can rig them other ways as well. Uh, you can even rig them up on a three or four uh, weightless hook and have it as a dying bait fish. I'm sure it'll do just as well that way too. So I just got one pack of those. Again, mainly for chatterbait trailer. Up next, of course I'm going to be fishing this on the Ned Rig for sure and maybe even a drop shot if it does well. This is the Finesse TRD in Green Pumpkin Orange. Comes in an 8 pack, 2.75 inches. And man if you're throwing this around ponds or lakes and you're not getting bit on it, I guarantee you it's going to be a tough day on the water because I've had so much luck with just worms period that if they're not going to be hitting that and I think, in my opinion, it's going to be a pretty tough day because these usually get bit year-round any time. There that is. Grand Pumpkin Orange. Nice color. Alright, moving on. Everybody knows about Zoom, especially Kevin Bulletin. He's probably got like two billion gazillion dollars. He's probably actually got another house built around Zoom for all Zoom baits. This is the Salty Super Fluke. And bait fish comes in a 10 pack. Gonna be a great bait when those fish are feeding up on bait fish. So I'll be throwing this mainly weightless. I probably won't throw it weighted at all. I just like the action of this thing weightless. It just represents a dying fish really well. So and that color is like a natural shad, black on top, pearl on the bottom with a bunch of different flake in there. Alrighty, moving on. We got some gobies here the sculpin hypertail this is a three inch bait it comes in an eight pack uh, i've never thrown gobies before but i figured this year um i'm guessing the bite is going to be pretty finesse i went out two days ago and i had zero bites at all i had maybe one on a fluke that i felt tap it but other than that i didn't get a single bite so i'm going to give these a go rig these up on a drop shot i think I do believe they'll do pretty well. I got two other ones in here as well. That was just a solid green pumpkin. 
here's here's the bigger version the four inch um, this color is cinnamon purple really nice color got one more in here as well I'm pretty sure right there another three inch this is in a darker color smoke red flake sculpin hypertail gobies already moving on to the next soft plastic here we got some lunker city thin s shad four inch bait comes in eight per pack i got a nice another nice style soft plastic jerk bait I really like the belly to this, really nice and fat and thick, and then it really tapers off into that thin tail. Interested to see how these do. I figured I'd try to get a couple of fluke style baits and see how they do. So, never used these before. Alrighty, moving on. I had this before and I actually lost it. This is the O Wacky tool with the O rings to make your stick worms and other plastics last. A lot longer with those all rings. So I got that and I believe I got two packs yeah right here. Two packs of the all rings in clear instead of black. So pretty cool. Alrighty moving on. Here we got some Picasso spinner baits. See it says super light wire. 0 0.032 gauge this is in a half ounce made in the USA and this color is doesn't say oh no it does silver flash I guess that's what it says silver flash Interested to try these out. Seen a lot of people talking about Picasso, especially especially tackle junkie. So I figured I'd start out with some of the Picasso spinner baits if I'm gonna try to spinner bait fish at all. Here's another one, exact same, three eighth ounce. And this one doesn't have the painted blades like the other one. And these are silver and gold. The other one were painted. This is just in like white flash, white pearl. I got a couple more coming um, of the, like I think it's called the Invis wire, I do believe. Uh, it's a smaller gauge wire and it's really tough too, but it's also really finesse. The fish can't see it as well, but most of them were on back order till like April 10th or something like that, so uh, they're not in this order. Up next, we got two of these. This is a 1 8 ounce double barrel underspin by Picasso. It's got a two-aught hook so um, I was actually looking for a lot of stuff with two-aught hooks so I could be throwing the smaller Kitex on them and I just I couldn't find a really good brand or a hook that I really liked that was light in weight that had a two-aught hook so um, I'm really glad I've seen this uh, just because of Tackle Jungie's video. I really like the detail on the heads too. Really nice looking details there. These are made with the uh, Gamagatsu hooks, and they also have ones that are made with owner hooks as well. And uh, here's another one. Uh, the other one was in shad color, and this one is in Tennessee shad. Both the same size. Alright, moving on here. We got some of their jig heads. 2 watt hook. This is in 3 8 ounce. Again, it's going to be throwing swim baits, mainly Kitex on this, the smaller Kitex. I got the 3 8 ounce for maybe if I'm going to fish deeper or, or on a windy day is why I got the 3 8 ounce here. And I got two of those, as you can see, in a shad color. And these are made with mustad hooks, as you guys can see there. I'll let you guys read that for a minute. Picasso. All right, up next we got two more, and we just went with the uh, one eighth ounce size again, two aught hook. You can see they come two, three, four, five, seven, and eight aught. 
really love the detail on those, man. That's just, that's just crazy. Let me stop the video and take one of these out of the package for you guys so you guys can get a close, closer look. Alright okay, guys, there's the Picasso head right there. This is a 3 ounce, 3 eighth ounce version. And just the detail on that is incredible. That thing just looks mean. I love it. Looks like it's got a really nice keeper on the hook as well. Nice thick stout hook on the 3 eighth ounce version. Just really nice looking man. So, definitely recommend checking those bad boys out. Alrighty, the last two things in the box. Nothing exciting. We got two Picasso 1 ounce tungsten flipping weights. 97% pure tungsten. And this is in gunmetal. If you guys have never gotten a gunmetal uh, weight before, definitely recommend it. They hold up like a champ. They take a beating and... They just look brand new. So definitely recommend tungsten and the gunmetal for sure. Gunmetal, I think paint job is probably the best one you can get. I think it's the most durable in my opinion. I'll take one out of the package. Alright guys, so there it is out of the blackage. Or the package. That nice gunmetal black there. Really, really nice. Uh, I did a lot of flipping last year. And the year before. And if you guys have never tried flipping and punching. I should say I did a lot of punching uh, last year and the year before. And if you guys have never tried punching before. I highly recommend it. I mean you got to have a decent rod for it. But if you guys have the money or aren't able to get a punching rod. Definitely do so and give it a whirl. I mean it's probably one of my top ways to fish. It's just so fun cranking on those fish and yanking them out of some of the mats. I don't fish a lot of huge, like, thick mats like Florida would have or, like, giant patches of lily pads or whatnot, but there are some weeds and mats around my area that build up, and that's what I'd be using this for. So, uh, that's my unboxing, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. And also, um, I'll be moving in the next, uh, week or two, so it'll be, like, a halt on videos, but, um... I don't know if anybody has seen this before if I post it on Facebook, but I installed a little pegboard here that I've installed and put some of my baits on the board. I haven't got them all up here yet, but I just figured I'd show you guys after this unboxing. My, I got my collection of live target craws there. Those are the square bills. Uh, they don't make them anymore, so I stocked up on them. Got some Livingston, Kankai Tex, Net Baits. Biospawn. Got some Z-Man Elastic and there's an Ardent Reel there. And this is just a bag that I was shipping some baits out in. But um, yeah guys, so I'll be moving the next couple weeks. So videos might halt for a minute. But hopefully I'm going to get out to the lake today. As you guys are going to be seeing this video. Uh, I just made it today as you guys are watching. So hopefully I'll get out there and do a fishing trip as well. So thank you guys for watching the unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Any questions, feel free to comment, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.